this is like um, the stems, you know, the stalk, uh, all the leafy part of the plant. And this will make a car run. Yes, this is what's going to make a car run. Alternative energy. We've heard about it, but what is it? I'd classify alternative energy at this point uh, as something other than energy that comes from combustion, whether it's from gasoline to move a car or a truck, or the combustion of coal to make electricity. We need to find a way to stop burning so much fossil fuels and burn more renewable, uh, less carbon intensive fuels. So we're talking about renewable electricity, we're also talking about renewable liquid fuel, something to go in your gas tank. There's no single bullet that one solution cannot fit all of our needs. So people who argue, you know, say, biofuels are the way to, to go about or some other form of energy are probably not getting it right. We think that we've got to work on multiple fronts and the hope is that together we have a solution to all the problems that we have in the area of energy. MSU researchers are taking such an approach. Some develop thermoelectric devices that harvest energy from tailpipe emissions, create biofuels from natural sources like switchgrass and corn waste products, design innovative engines that accommodate those next-generation fuels, and produce improved energy storage devices to help make wind and solar power practical. This collaborative approach has a common goal, creating the most efficient and sustainable methods for providing the world with clean and affordable energy. It's a really wonderful chance to work with basic plant scientists, people working in the fundamental microbial science figure out how to do this new fuel, very large fuels, produce them sustainably and uh, uh, economically and environmentally sustainable way. You know, very often people who focus in one narrow area get bogged down when they face problems. You benefit from things that are going on in other disciplines and you are able to drop on ideas, drop on techniques that people in other disciplines use for addressing problems in, a, in your own discipline. We get a lot from our hallway conversations. Quite a bit. I mean, a lot of these projects have started as a result of hallway conversations. It's the intermingling of talent that, you know, that a big university like Michigan State can, can pursue. And there are some real advantages in, in doing that. MSU's record of innovation is paying off. The newly created MSU Center for Alternative Energy Storage Research and Technology was tapped by the U.S. Department of Energy to lead a new Energy Frontier Research Center, one of 46, to be established nationwide. It is today's laboratory research that will fuel tomorrow's economic growth and stability. All of these things are beginning to pay off, and I think in the years to come, we'll see a lot of terrific things coming out of this this university. And what is more, there's a great deal of interest in making sure that they get translated to the marketplace, that we just don't create ideas. There's also interest in making sure that we take advantage of these ideas in, and, and you know, people are uh, helped in the process. And the land-grant universities like Michigan State University have, have had this charge for, since their founding of delivering research results that, that, change, that change lives. And uh, very few uh, things impact our lives like how we fuel our vehicles and how we get around and how we feed ourselves. And so we're talking about a major change in the way that uh, we provide sustainable fuels and food and so forth. How we use land to sustainably generate fuels and generate the same food that we're, that we're producing and do it in a way that's environmentally sound. A couple of months ago we celebrated the 40th anniversary of a man landing on the moon. I have a feeling 40 or 50 years from now people will look back at our generation and say wow this generation managed to lick some of the most difficult problems associated with energy and other grand challenge problems.